Hey guys. So it's really early right now. I actually have to work today in a little bit, but my child is laughing at me. But I... <laughs> okay, hopefully Serenity's done causing destruction over there. But anyways, I'm gonna film a my opinion on co-sleeping video. I haven't really done too many opinion videos. I think I did co-bathing once and I did breastfeeding versus formula feeding, but I haven't done co-sleeping yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it and just kind of tell you my views and how I feel about co-sleeping. So to start off with my own personal experience, what I did with Serenity, I kept her in the room with us since she was tiny because infants are at risk for SIDS up to six months old and then the risk goes down dramatically and if you don't know what SIDS is, it's basically something that they can't fully explain but the infant just stops breathing. And I'm not, I honestly don't know if when they stop breathing, if you are there and you notice it, if you can pat them on the back and get them to start breathing again, but I don't know, it just made me feel better to have her in the room with us. So we tried putting her in the bassinet for the first few nights at home and she hated it. She hated it so much and I was worried that the cat was going to jump in there and try to sleep in there with her and would smother her. So I didn't really like the situation. So we put the bassinet away after like two nights and no sleep for us and we got her a swing and she slept in her swing till she was about seven months old I think. She couldn't have slept in there much longer anyways because she was getting too big and she was learning how to pull herself up a little bit and she too much longer and she would have been falling out of that thing but she slept so well in there and it was so nice to just be able to go to the edge of the bed to feed her and nurse her at night now as far as sleeping in the bed goes I that really scares me because I know people think well if you roll over on them they'll make noise and you'll know it but that's not always true because infants are very very heavy sleepers too and my dad told me that he once rolled over on me, <laughs> and I don't think I cried or anything, but my, I think my mom had to wake him up. And that's really, really scary, because you don't even think about how tiny newborns are until you actually have one, and I don't know, I just think they're too small to be in the bed when they're that little. I'm just, some people are more heavy sleepers than they think they are, and I really think that, that you could lie on their face or push their face into the pillows and smother them. As far as co-sleepers, like the ones that are made for babies go, I think those are a really, really good idea. What are you doing? Look, she's it's gonna be a mess in here, but she's trying to climb in the closet. Where are you going? Huh? If I can get this camera back. So yeah, as far as co-sleepers go, I think they're a really, really good design. There's some that you can literally put like in the middle of the bed and they have kind of sides like so that you can't just like roll into it the baby can lie in it and you're so they're basically sleeping on the bed with you but they're kind of in their own little bed too and there's some co-sleepers that are made for the side of the bed so that there's rails on the outside but then it's open to the bed so you really are sleeping right beside them but obviously you wouldn't roll off the bed so you're not gonna it's the same thing with that you're not gonna roll onto the coast sleeper. So I think that was a really, really good idea. So I said that up to six months is when the risk for SIDS goes down. <laughs> Sorry, she's cracking me up. She's inside her ball pit now. But anyways, so at six months, the risk for SIDS goes down. At this time, they're also um, a lot bigger though. So for me, I switched Serenity into her crib back here, out of our room, when she was about seven months old. And I was so freaking worried the first night, and I didn't like not having her beside me. In fact, several times I brought her back into the swing, but eventually I had her in the crib, and I got to where I didn't have to obsessively check on her, you know, because... I don't know, I just finally was like, okay, she's gonna be alright, we have a monitor, blah blah blah. But I was also gonna say that also at that age, they're a lot bigger 
And since the risk has gone down, there's not as much of a chance of them not breathing and all that. So I think at that age, it would be okay to have them sleep in the bed with you. Just because if you roll over on them, they're going to wake up and scream. Because they're bigger now and they understand things that are going on around them a lot better. So, I don't know. I feel like six, seven months is a good age if you wanted to co-sleep. To have them kind of co-sleep. But I also think it's a bad idea because if you started at that age, then they're going to get used to it. And they're, it's going to be really hard to trans transition them to a bed when you don't want them to sleep in your bed anymore. However, I do also understand that a lot of women, or men, I guess, um, sleep alone at night. Like, their husbands or their wives have night jobs, and they're lonely. And personally, I probably would have her sleep in the bed with me some nights if James worked nights, but he doesn't, so she sleeps in her crib. But there have been times when he's worked out of the state, and... I didn't keep her in there all night with me, but if I woke up at 6 in the morning or something, I would bring her in there and lay her down with me. It's just because after having him gone for so long, it just gets lonely and it's hard to sleep when you're used to someone being there beside you. So my overall opinion is that it's really scary to have infants in the bed with you. If you really are a light sleeper and that's what you want to do, then you know, obviously that's fine and I would not judge someone for it. But to me, it's just, I would never have one in the bed that little because I'd be too scared that I would end up smothering it and then, you know, it would be my fault and I would feel horrible and more than horrible, but, you know, I would just, I, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it can be good for lonely nights and when they're older and blah, 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 you heard my entire opinion, so that is pretty much how I feel about co-sleeping. Um, if you want more opinion videos or whatever, just let me know below, and I will put one up for you guys sometime soon. So, say goodbye, Rin. Say bye! She knocked over her diaper thing. Didn't you? Say bye-bye! Bye-bye! Say bye! Okay, well, she's not gonna do it, but... We will see you guys next time. I'm going to do a 14 month update on her pretty soon. When she turns 14 months. At the end of the month. And I will try to put up another video before then too. So we'll see you later.